If you have never been to Elkmont, you definitely should go. You've got to check this place out. They call it a ghost town because back in 1910, it started out by a logging company and evolved into this vacation spot for rich people that came on a train from Knoxville. There was a bunch of cabins back there. They even had a hotel. They had a club. Like, it was a thriving community. It was divided up into three areas, main, mainly Daisy Town, Society Hill, and Millionaire's Row. The Little River Trail that I'm going to go on is goes straight through Millionaire's Row. No one lives in this town anymore. When they opened the Smoky Mountains National Park, the people were forced to leave. A lot of them did not want to leave, and some of them got leases, and they were able to stay for years and years, but eventually everyone had to go. A lot of these cabins and buildings were just left abandoned. Nobody really knew what to do with them. They were going to just demolish them all. Then they decided to put them on the um, National Register of Historic Places in, I think, 2005. Unfortunately, a lot of them were already unsafe and falling down. But in 2009, they decided they were going to restore them. A lot of these have been torn down. A lot of them are in the middle of being restored. And some of them have already been restored. But it's still a work in progress. So there's just a ton of history here. And it's also just absolutely beautiful. In spring, the wildflowers are amazing. I got here just a little bit before most of the wildflowers came out. So we saw some, but there was not a lot. Not yet. Probably May is the best month if you want to see wildflowers. So one of the things I notice when I go through all the ruins of these homes where people lived at was the buildings may have fallen down, but the the stones are always there. They took a lot of time and everywhere you go, there's these stones that they used to build these walls with. They used to build their fireplaces with. And that's basically someone just did that by hand. And someone was there laying every single stone in that place. And that's what I see when I go and I look at the chimneys and the walkways and the stairs. And I think about all the people who actually made those. So I found out that this one little tiny cabin that you always notice, um, it was a child's playhouse. It also has a little cobblestone ring in the front of it that looks like a fire pit, but it's actually um, a fish pond. It was a fish pond. I especially love this picture because when I was there, I never saw this rainbow. Never saw it until after I uploaded the pictures. Here I came across the Spence Cabin. It is a historic building, but you can rent it for uh, any kind of small gathering wedding reception small though it's not really big but it's it's really nice so it looks like someone's using it right now so this is part of what they call millionaire's row at oakmont 
and that's pretty self-explanatory. So that's also where the Little River Trail starts and where you'll find the Troll Bridge. I've also been wanting to see this troll bridge. There is a troll bridge I've seen in pictures and it's kind of off the beaten path. So a lot of people don't even know it's there. So I was pretty excited when I found it. So old. Somebody lived here. So yeah, that's it for now. See you in the Smokies. Oh, and please don't forget to subscribe. Please and thank you.